Hello everyone, in this video we are going to learn that how can you automatically get bill reminders on SMS on a monthly basis. So if you are lagging behind to pay your bills on time, then you can get help from this automation that we can create using Pabli Connect. In this automation, our trigger will be to trigger monthly using scheduler by Pabli and then our first action application will be to get rows in Google Sheets where you have kept all the details of your bills, the due date and the amount and in the end we will use Twilio to send SMS notifications. Let us learn how to do that. So in this video we are going to learn how you can set a monthly reminder of all your bills and payments. For that you need to collect all the details of your expense, your amount and their due dates in a spreadsheet. You can use Google Spreadsheet for that and to send messages we are going to use Twilio for this workflow. Let us quickly sign in into our account so that I will reach this place where I can see all the applications provided by Pabli. Here we are going to use Pabli Connect to create this automation. Click on access now. That will take you to the dashboard of Pabli Connect. Reaching here, you will see a big blue button on your right side where it's written Create Workflow. Click on the button and give a suitable name to your workflow. I'm going to name it as Remind Me of Bills with Monthly Reminder on Text Messages. Click on Create and then a blank workflow will be created for you. You will see two windows, Trigger and Action written over here. As I mentioned, prepare your Google Sheet and open your Twilio account which will make it easier for you to connect your applications with Pabli Connect and also cross check the changes that you need to make over here. So let us understand the functioning of trigger and action. Trigger is going to be the first application where we will perform the action manually. That is when this happens and when that event takes place manually, then this workflow will be triggered so that the action application will perform the assigned action automatically. The trigger first of all here is going to be scheduled by Pabli. We are putting here a scheduler by Pabli. The reason being we want this to be repeated every month. So here we will make some changes like we want this workflow to run on specific date of the month. I am setting it to the first. So select first because as the month starts, this workflow will start running and then see that which date comes first that reminder will be sent. What time you can decide any time if you want. Just make sure this is in UTC. So you have to set the format in that way. I am keeping it to this one. Click on save and the response is received which says that it is set. The scheduler is set now. Close this window and move on to the next window. Now you will fetch the information from the Google Sheet that you have prepared. So choose your action application as Google Sheet. And the event will be to get rows. This event is used to fetch the already created rows over here. Click on connect. Because it is a Google application, you have to select your add new connection and sign in with your Google account. Choose your Google account and click on allow. When the connection is established, you will have to choose the spreadsheet and the Google sheet name. Like the spreadsheet name, open here and then monthly expense and bills is the spreadsheet we are working upon. And there is just one sheet. What is the range that you want to cover in order to fetch the information? You want from A2 to C, but it does not end at C5. What if more expenses are added on? Which means that the beginning is A2, that is correct, but the end is endless. So you are going to keep it just column C. So we will write the range as A2 colon C. Okay, and then click on save and send test request. Once this is received, you see all the information for the broadband, DTH, water, electricity, all four are here. But whom to choose first? How are you going to simplify this problem? So we are going to deactivate this simple response. Again, click on save and send test request. And this time you will find that the result is in array format. You see, this is the array format. This is even more complex, but there is one thing that can make it more simplified. So let us go ahead with our next action application which is called iterator by Pabli. Now what iterator does is that this response includes the first expanded data. Okay, so here in this array format, first it takes the first data, then in the second run it takes the second data and then the third and so on. So we have four data right now, four data collection. So it will take it one by one, which means everything will be covered but one thing at a time. So it already selects the previous response and we just have to click on save and send test request. Here you see the first one is here. The date is here, the amount is here and the name of the bill is also here. Now we will select the date that when you need to send the reminder. So let's say if the broadband bill 
is having the due date of 11th June. So we don't want it to be reminding on 11th only. You want two days before. So we will use date time formatter for the same purpose. The action event will be add subtract time because we are going to change the time to two days earlier. First of all, map the existing date that you will take from iterator. Then the expression is minus two days. So here it is written how you simplify this thing that whatever change you want to make to your date, then you can add it over here or subtract it over here plus eight hours. So it will add eight hours. We are talking about days, which means on ninth, we need to have the reminder. So this is done. There is this format. If you want to change to this format, then you can make the changes in format right here only. I would like to remind that you will be putting delay after this step so that this workflow is delayed until that specific time. Like if 9th is the date when the reminder has to be sent, but this workflow has started to work since first date of the month. So we have to put a delay till this specific date. So you have to change the format as well. The format that is required in your delay is the other one. So two format has to be changed to this one. Right now the format is this one. Okay, click on save and send test request. And here is the response. Because time was not mentioned, so it says 00, zero but the date has been changed to 9th. So we have done this one. Close this window and next step is delay. We will put a delay till that specific date when we want the reminder. Now this delay is again a feature that is built inside Pabli. You are putting delay for some time or until some time. So we are putting it until and the date the hair will be mapped from this date time formatter where we subtracted time from the existing date. Now this is the format. See the format also fits in and the date is also minus two of the due date. Click on save and send test request and this delay will be applied. So now this complete workflow till now here is delayed until this date. So this workflow will run till this date time formatter and then when it reaches delay, it will delay till this specific date. And then if there is any other bill that has to be paid, so iterator will make sure that that bill is paid till its own delay date that will be generated by this date time formatter and this delay. In the end, we will come to our last action step that is Twilio, which we are going to use to send a message. So choose Twilio and the event will be to send SMS message. Click on connect, add new connection and you will need the SID, authorization token and account SID again. So all of these things can be found in the home page or the landing page of Twilio only. When you scroll down, you will find the SID, copy it from here and paste them at their respective places. Then the authorization token as well and paste it here. Then click on save and the connection will be done. Now you have to frame a body of the SMS that will remind the customer of paying the bill and then the sender's number. So let us enter the sender's number first. That is also available here. Your own Twilio phone number. So this is not your private number. This is your application's number. Now come back here and paste it. This number is not going to change. Here will be the recipient number. So obviously you are generating this workflow for yourself so that you get the reminder. So over here you can put your own number. Before that, I would like to frame the body of the SMS. So here I will type as your and over here I will say which bill broadband like it's, it is broadband bill that is on and on date is this date. It's due on this specific date. All right, full stop. And then now we have created this message this is the actual due date this is the due date which we have written in the google sheet but the delay that we have added time for the ninth or two days before is actually for this delay so that this message is sent on the ninth not on the real due date now we will enter the recipient number over here once this is done click on save and send test request and the response is received see you have the response over here it is sent from your twilio message so because this is a dummy workflow, so the message will be sent right now only because we are clicking save and send test request again and again. But when it will automatically run on its own, then it won't be sent until the date arrives. So let us quickly close this window and check our SMS. Have we received it or not? So here is the message that we have received that we were able to send through Twilio. So this is exactly the same message that I have drafted right in front of you right now. So which means that a message will surely be sent as a reminder to you whenever there is a due date of your bill. So this was the whole workflow. I hope this helped.
not just these applications, but you can integrate many other applications using Pabli Connect. If you have any issue regarding Pabli, you can email us at support at pabli.com. You can ask your queries at forum.pabli.com. And if you have any doubts regarding our pricing, then you can connect us through this given website. If you found this video helpful in any way, then make sure to share this with your friends and colleagues to make their life easier by creating automations. We will meet in the next video. Till then, do not forget to like our video and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.